Alaskan Governor Sarah Palin has officially ruled out a run at the White House, confirming that she will not seek the Republican nomination in 2012. The announcement has come in a letter to supporters and ends months of speculation. With more, I'm joined by Professor Jeffrey Garrett from the U.S. Studies Centre. Professor, thanks for your time. No great surprise in the end. Uh, I don't think it was so surprising. Uh, Sarah Palin said she'd been praying a lot and uh, talking with God about this decision, but I'm sure she was also listening to pollsters and the pollsters told her that even in the Tea Party, she wasn't so popular at the moment. But I think what it uh, throws into sharp relief is the fact that the Republicans are still seeking desperately uh, a true conservative candidate to take on Barack Obama for the presidency next year. The dark horse now appears to be businessman Herman Cain, uh, who uh, uh, Republicans are turning towards. Do we know much of him? Yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's an African-American, a southerner, somebody who was very successful in business. He looks like he's got solid credentials in terms of sort of economic fundamentals and being a, a fiscal conservative. But I don't think that there's really much chance that he could be the Republican nominee. As, a, as with the Palin announcement, as with uh, the New Jersey governor, Chris Christie, as with Rick Perry, what we see is a Republican Party trying to find an authentic right-wing candidate to take on Obama. And what that tells us is that the Republican leader, Mitt Romney, is somebody that a lot of Republicans just aren't comfortable with. Professor Garrett, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you. My pleasure.